Thomas Tiara May MAC Ride or Die favorite lipsticks that MAC sells. Um, I had to do a separate video from my Ride or Die lipsticks that I posted on Saturday because I can't make a decision when it comes to lipstick because I want it all. I want it all. I can't pick one because I like lots for different reasons. So I'll have that video from Saturday posted down below if you missed it as well as my Ride or Die tag and some other playlists that are kind of relative to this situation and this topic. So let's get right on into these lipsticks because I seriously, I have too many. So the MAC formulation, there are several different ones. So I'll let you know what each color is in the formula that it is. They are $17 a piece and you get three grams of product. So if you've ever looked or walked past a MAC store, funny thing, I had never even heard of MAC prior to 2010, 11, and it was my first time in a, in a mall that was like nice. We had, we were living in New Jersey. Uh, I mean, we had a nice mall, but not like all the options that this mall had. And I seen the MAC store and it was like, wow, like colors, like they have, you know, they have the MAC lipstick racks and the, in the eyeshadow and the blush. And I was just so overwhelmed. Um, so if you were to go to the matte counter and um, see all the lipsticks, they have 223 shades, okay? And that doesn't include all the limited edition things that they spit out. So these are the ones that are my ride or dies. I feel confident recommending these to you. I love these. These are my most worn, and that's kind of the backstory on how I chose these. So the first one is Craving, and this is an amplified formula. The amplified is kind of like their satin formula, which is opaque. Lots of coverage, but it's going to have a little bit more oomph to it. <laughs> like the color, it's saturated in color. And it's called Craving, and I feel like this color is sexy. This is a beautiful color for fall. It's just, I don't know, it's going to give you that bare, like fall into winter. It's going to give you that berry color, but not like too much, not too bright, not too bold. I find it to be a very wearable, gorgeous color. Um, I almost wore this today. I actually couldn't decide what to wear, so we might have to change my lipstick a few times during the course of this video. Um, but this color is just, it's just a go-to color. It's easy. It goes with so many things. This next color is a satin formula, so it's going to give you the cover, like color, like it's going to give you color and coverage. Um, but not as much as the Amplified. So this is their satin formula, which is very comfortable. It, it does have that satin finish, creamy. Um, this is the color Faux. Love this one. This is, this is, this is top 10. I mean, this is ride or die, yeah, but this is top 10. Uh, Faux, I love this color. I wore this a lot last summer. Last summer I had went to stay with my parents for a while when my husband was deployed to let my kids, you know, hang out with all the family, because we don't have family anywhere else that we live, and all of it's up north, and I only brought a certain amount of lipsticks, because I need to, you know, make a decision, and this is one of them, and so when you only have 10 lipsticks, 10 lipsticks to choose from, um, you wear them a lot, so faux, well, you just can't go wrong, it's a pinky, pinky nude, but wearable, it's super sexy with MAC Soar lip pencil, or MAC Edge to Edge, those are the two I rotate with this color. This is one of my first purchases in the MAC lipstick range. Um, I, I would say this might have been like the second lipstick or third lipstick I bought from MAC. This is their matte formula. I like MAC's matte formula. It's not drying. It's not like a liquid lipstick matte. It is matte. Like, it is matte, okay? Um, but it's not like flat. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> kind of sexy is what it's called. Sexy, peachy nude. Just enough peach, but still definitely nude. Just you can't go wrong with kind of sexy. I think I feel I've seen a lot of different skin tones wear this, and it looks fabulous on them. I think it looks good on me. I like to pair it with a little bit darker of a of a lip liner, um, just because I like to have that ombre look. But mmm, it's beautiful. This is a glaze, and I think this is the only glaze that I own. A glaze is like the word implies. It just it's just like a topper. You can wear it by itself. I wear it by itself, but it like it, it looks good on top of other things and it's very much sheer. And I don't know, it's just neat. It's a color you got to go like this a few times to build it up if you want to actually color cover all of your lips. But this is hue. And I really like hue for a nude lip that isn't opaque. So when you go for a nude lip, in my opinion, when you go for a nude lip, if it's too light for you and it's opaque it can look like paste which I don't think is a great look 
This color is light, but it's a sheer earth formula, so some of my natural lip color will come through and just, it'll, you know, like nude it out, but not like nude it out, you know? So this is really pretty. I like to put this on top of other things too, but hue, it's just, I don't know, it's so different. It's just cool. I like it. MAC definitely has some really, like, if you can't find a lipstick you like out of 223, I don't know, you might as well just give up. This color, if you are going to be a bride, if you were a bride, <laughs> if you want to be a bride again, um, this color I freaking love, but specifically for brides because it's just that perfect, pinky, rosy, deliciousness shade. It's just perfection. It's the Amplified Formula, so you're going to get some color with this. It's going to be opaque. Um, it's Cosmo. I love this. I wore this recently, I feel like, in a video. I, I don't know. I always list everything that I wear down below if you're ever curious with links to shop. Yes, I spend a lot of time linking things for you guys, so it's easy. I know I like to watch a video and then have it linked, and then I can just click on it and shop from my phone in my bed because that's how I roll. This is Cosmo. This is just pink, but not a bright pink, okay? If you're not a pink lipstick girl, um, try this. This is going to ease you into the pink lipstick world without being like, wow, that's too pink for me. It's like a wearable pink. It just, gosh, it's sexy. It's just try it. Try it. Cosmo. It's just freaking phenomenal. I love that one. Thumbs up this video and let me know down below if you want an entire, I was thinking about sharing my entire MAC lipstick collection. I thought about doing it uh, for a while and I, when I first started my channel, don't go back to that video, but I, no, you're going to. I did my MAC lipstick collection and since then it's probably quadrupled, quad, quadrupled um, and that's simply because I have a Mac Pro card which if you have a Mac Pro card then you can get a discount on the lipsticks and that's how I've accumulated all these lipsticks and so um, anyways if you want to see everything that I have let me know and I can film that because Elsa and I will we'll pour a glass and we'll do a little vlog style looking at our lipsticks that would be kind of fun swatch fest chit chat kind of thing I'm thinking let me know this is what I'm wearing today I chose this color because I feel like this is a great fall shade um, Oh, I love this color. Okay, so this is a satin formulation. Comfortable, creamy. I don't have a lip liner on. Um, I took my lipstick off from the video I just filmed, which you saw on Saturday, and I was going to put a lip liner on. If I were to choose one, I'd probably go with Lancome Ideal or something in this family of, of a liner. But anyways, this is called Twig. Isn't this pretty? I like it. It's like mauve but deeper I th think it's a great deeper nude myself so um, yeah this the set formula gives you good coverage as you can see I don't have a liner it just hugs the lips nicely uh, twig it's it I don't know it's kind of it's kind of a really okay it's a must-have my favorite red lipstick in my entire collection and I love red lipstick okay I love red lipstick I think it's very flattering it's sexy it's feminine it's chic timeless but my hands down favorite the one I reach for and wear the most is Max Red and it literally is called Mac Red it's a satin formulation I like that um, it's not it's not super flat matte. It's satin. It has a little bit of something to it, but you don't need to then go in with a gloss if it's a matte formula and your lips get dry. I love this color. It's blue based, so it's going to be cooler. It's not orange based. I love a blue based red. I think I do wear like say uh, Max Lady Danger is more of an orange based red. I do wear those. I wear orange lipsticks. I wear coral lipsticks, but a blue based red for me is my go to. It makes your teeth look white. It makes your eye color pop. It just really brightens your complexion. Max Red is hands down my absolute favorite. It's just, I love it. I love it. It just it makes me smile. Literally. Cream sheen. I haven't really, I haven't shared any other cream sheens. You know, I have like other cream sheens in my collection and I would, like before I sat down to do this video and I was opening my drawer, I'm like, oh, but I do like that, but I do like that. But no, what do you like the most, Chelsea? The most. Modesty. This is a cream sheen by MAC. Um, this is going to be more coverage than the glaze, um, but very creamy and definitely, like the word implies, a sheen. Very, very shiny, glossy kind of situation. Modesty. I wore this this week by itself, no liner, nothing, and it's just so easy, so easy, gives you a little bit of color, I don't even think I had makeup on my face, I just put this on, and it's one of those, like, there are, okay, does this make sense to you, there are sunglass, sunglasses, lipstick 
shades. So like when you're wearing your sunglasses, you don't have any other makeup on, you want to throw on a lipstick, but you don't want it to clash, you don't want it to be too much, but you don't want to look like you really look bad, which is why you're wearing the sunglasses. This is a great color to do that. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it makes perfect sense to me in my mind. Um, I literally lay in bed thinking about how I can explain myself to you guys, and then it never comes across what I rehearsed laying in my bed. Like last night, I couldn't sleep. I could not fall asleep, and I didn't have any caffeine before bed. I did have wine, but I didn't have it too close to bed because sometimes it'll wake me up, and I just could not fall asleep, and I'm like writing down in my notes like all these things I'm going to tell you and all these fantastic video ideas, and I sit down here and I just start rambling. It's just what happens, but modesty, it's just... It's a, I think it's named appropriately, modest. It's a, it's a modest shade. It's not too bright, it's not, it's not too sheer, it's not too opaque, it's not too bold, it's just like easy. It just, it's like a pinky, browny type of color. I just, I don't know, it's really modest. It's just really easy. It's just, you can't really screw up modesty. So I would recommend checking this one out too if you're not like a lipstick girl, but try modesty. Okay, this is a satin formulation. This is called Brave. This is going to be a little bit more pink. A little bit. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like Cosmo. In fact, let me grab Cosmo here. I know I'm inserting some swatches for you guys. I mean, they are really close. That's the other thing you're going to run into with MAC is their slight differences. But sometimes that, can, that slight difference can be the difference between a lipstick you like and a lipstick you love. So on the, this is Cosmo and this is Brave. So Brave is a little lighter. Let me just swatch them on my hand here. Cosmo. Yeah, okay. In the tube, okay. The tube is different. This is Brave. It's pinker. This is Cosmo. Oh, it's rosier. So slight difference. I like them both. <laughs> They're both in that rosy pink uh, formula. I Or shade range. I know when I wear Cosmo, it definitely pulls more pink on my lips, if that matters to you at all. I don't know if you can get this next one, but I love this color. This is an amplified uh, formula. It's called Hue. This is so pretty. I'm going to swatch this one so I can describe it better. It's a beautiful raspberry pinky color, like a true raspberry red raspberry pinky toned color. It's really pretty on the lips. This is a great easing into winter berry shades. I just, it's not like a, it's not a purpley based berry. I prefer a more raspberry or reddish based berry. I don't mind some of the purplier ones, but this is definitely more complimentary. I, all right, I, I remember now, because I just looked at my next color I'm gonna share with you. And I re I'm remembering now, the first MAC lipstick I bought was Rebel, which ironically I'm not even including in here. I do love it, I really do, but these are my more reached for ones. And then the second lipstick I bought, um, besides Kinda Sexy, and this, I, think, I think it might have been the same trip, is Blankety. And this is an amplified formula. I went into MAC. Now keep in mind, this was before I really knew what I was doing. Not that I know what I'm doing now, good lord. But... I know a little more what's going on versus what I knew then. I walked into MAC after watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I had I had a baby that just learned to walk and a newborn and I, I watched these videos and I was I hadn't had a Pinterest account. I created a Pinterest account and there was all these nude lips and I walked in and I said, I want a nude lipstick. And so this is what they brought me to. I do like this. This is definitely nude. This is going to be more opaque. This is what I'm talking about when you go light and opaque. That's what this is. But I like to pair it with a liner that gives me a little bit more color. So this is Blankety. It's a super sexy, really nude, pinky beige, pinky beige nude. It's not too yellow undertone. I cannot do a nude that has too much yellow undertone. I will look like death. Like seriously, like bring me back to life. Um, this color is just, it's a sexy nude. This is a going out with your girlfriend, smoky eye kind of nude. And that's what I usually reserve this for, which is like never. Um, but I really like this. I don't wear this on camera too much because I find the translation between what I think looks cool in person and then the camera is like, it's lost. And if I go too nude, I can look really bad. And so I like to wear a little bit more color typically, but this is a sexy nude. This is a matte formula. This is Velvet Teddy. This is a little bit deeper and richer and browner. 
and let me just give a little swatch of this this one almost has like peach more peach kind of like kind of sexy but darker so that's velvet teddy this is a great um it's kind of like nars barbara actually which i freaking love but this is definitely something i would wear on camera it has a little bit more depth to it it's not as nuded out i like to wear this kind of nude during the daytime with say like brown neutral tones on your eyes it's I don't know it's sexy I like it uh frost a I, I actually like frost lipstick okay I like it um in the right tone I like a frosty lipstick it just adds a little interest to the lips and it makes your lips look full and pouty and I don't know I like it it might have been a dying trend but I don't care I wear what I want so this is the Mac uh, angel this is a definitely pinker cool toned pink lipstick um, it, it pulls a little bit more pink. It really makes my eyes look really blue, and I like this. I also like to take a color like this and put it in the center of my lips of, say, something like this. Like, I would just take a little of this, and it just gives a little dimension. So, yeah, love that one. Then we have um, another frost, and this one is New York Apple. And I remember when I was with my mom, she bought... A color kind of like this but it was a different name I can't remember but it was a frost and I bought this one New York Apple this is so pretty this is it's almost I wouldn't say frost like frosty or like when your hair did you guys ever like my mom well I think she did one time but a lot of people in the town I grew up in frosted their hair like for real a lot of people for I don't know that was a thing but it's not a thing anymore just I don't know I don't think it was very cute but um, that's what this makes me think of but it's not frost like that it's like metallicized a little bit I don't know it just gives some interest to the lips it almost just gives a little bit of an extra sheen to your lips it's a beautiful beautiful um, berry berry plum color it's really pretty. I enjoy this color in the winter a lot. And the last one I have is the most colorful of them all, but this is my, when I want to do a bold pink lip from MAC, like in my MAC lipstick collection, this is what I grab. It's an amplified formula. It's Girl About Town. This, get, this when I wear this, I feel sassy in this. I like to wear it with a deep pink lip liner, which I would have to look at my collection, but I can't, I can't think of which one it is, but I like this color. Like, this is a great, you want a bold pink lipstick, but not too bold. It is cooler undertoned, but not too cool. I don't know, it's kind of neutral undertone. I just think it's a great pink. It is pink. Like, a good kind of pink. Not like Barbie pink, or like fuchsia pink, but like pink. Like a great staple pink, and it just, I don't know, really makes my eyes look blue, and I just, I don't know, I love this one. That is it. That is all of my ride or die favorite MAC lipsticks. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps out my channel a ton. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but I've been reading up and like learning about how to grow your channel. And that is one thing they say. And I'm like, well, I always found it annoying when people said that and I never understood it. But I mean, I would do what they said. But anyways, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm honest here with you guys. So that's why I've been saying it because I'm like, we need to get more people here because we have so much fun and I just, I don't know, I'd love to share my fun and our chit chat with more people. So yes, I wanted to tell you that so you understood why does she keep saying that? Like all the other people, well, that's why they say it. You know what I mean? I'm finally learning this. I've been on here for almost three years and I'm finally starting to like, oh. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um, yeah, leave me below if there's any MAC lipsticks that you own that you're like, okay, why don't you have this? I might, I just didn't share it, but leave it down below because it's always fun to read the comments and I like to read the comments on other people's videos. Like, I'll watch the video and then I like to read the comments too because you guys have like great recommendations and just, I don't know, knowledge and everything. So it's it's fun to interact that way and, you know, it, it's a community here. We're a family. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll chat soon. Bye.